Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And in today's video, I'm just doing a nail tutorial on these nails. It's just gonna be DIY at home under $10. So that is really good if you're trying to save money and time. Um, if you don't want to go to the nail salon every month or every week, I don't know how often you go. So if you're trying to save money and get nail salon quality nails and you like these ones, then just keep watching because I'm going to show you guys how to get this. And yeah, it's just really easy. So yeah. I'm just gonna show you guys what you're gonna need before you start this, and this is under $10. You're gonna need the nail tips, of course, that's obvious. These are only $7 on Amazon, and if you just look up clear tips, and it's by this brand, EC Basket, I'll leave a link down below to the Amazon website that I used. You're gonna need nail glue, and this is a really good one. This is like super strong and really quick drying. It says ultra quick. And this is literally only $2, so I'll leave a link down below to this too. I got this from Amazon. You're gonna obviously need nail polish. I just did like this um, light purple color, so yeah. You're gonna need clear polish. I just used this gel one because it looks really good and it's like pretty thick. This is just by Sally Hansen. For the ring finger, you're gonna need a glitter. You're gonna need a really strong nail file because this is plastic. You're not just doing your regular nails. So you're gonna need like a really strong nail file. So yeah, you can pick this. I picked this up from Sally's Beauty. Just look at um, coarse. If it says coarse, that means it's strong. You're gonna need nail polish remover and cotton pads for the cutting of the nail. Um, Tips, you're gonna need scissors. I just use like these mini ones. To clean it up, you're gonna need Q-tips. So yeah, if you have Q-tips, that works best, better than a cotton ball. So yeah, that's basically all you need and let's just get on with the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is taking the clear nail, um, fake nails. I'm gonna put them on each finger so I can see like what size is each. And a really cool tip that I like to do is use a smaller nail than your actual nail because then it looks like you got it done from the salon. Versus if you make it really big, it looks like cheap press on nails. So that is a life hack and don't put it really close to the cuticle either. So yeah, I just set out my whole hand and pick the nails that I wanna put on each finger. And then after that, I will cut off the tips of it because they're really long. Like, I don't want super long nails. Like, honestly, I feel like the ones that they came out with were really long enough. And then I'm just going to put the glue on my nail. And I normally just like to do one drop because if I do more than that, it's too much and it gets messy. And it gets stuck to my finger. I've done that before. So don't put more than one drop unless you have really big nails. This is a really strong glue. It literally lasts for like two weeks but you really need to press down and like do it fast because this is like a quick drying glue. So yeah, you just wanna press down for a couple seconds, like five seconds. And then I just do that to every single nail. Make sure you get it right because once you put it on, it's really hard to get off. So you really wanna like align it first before you press down because the glue is super strong and it dries really fast. So you do not wanna mess up. And then after that, I like to file them down because it's easier to file them down than to cut it too short because you can't add nail obviously. So yeah, I like to make it a little bit longer then file it down into the shape that I like because they come square and I like the coffin shape of them where they get skinnier towards the end. So I just file the sides of them a little bit and then on top and it looks really cute. So that is how I get the shape of the coffin nails. Okay, and this is before and after. You can see the difference when I filed them down and made the shape really nice. Then I just wanna let them dry for a little bit. It's not gonna take that long, but I just like let them dry for a couple seconds and then I start applying the nail polish. And I don't like to do a lot of coats of nail polish because it's already on plastic. So if you put a lot of coats, it's gonna be really squishy. So I only like to do two really thin coats because it'll be really squishy and like weird if you put a lot of coats on, so don't make it too thick. So yeah, that is what I'm doing. Just painting my nails this really cute purple color. I think it's perfect for like the springtime. So yeah, I just do that to all of the nails. Okay, so for the ring finger, I just added two coats of that glitter that you see. So yeah, you wanna like try to press the glitters onto the nail, not just like keep swiping them off because they do come off if you just keep painting it regular. So you kinda wanna dab it on there, not really swipe it. And then I like to add this um, clear coat. This is a Sally Hansen gel one. I just feel like this like really like makes it shiny and it's like pretty thick. 
Okay, this last step is just removing the nail polish on the outside. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it because it looks more professional and it just like cleans it up. Okay, so that was my nail tutorial video. Hopefully you guys liked it and found it helpful. And if you recreate this look, just like um, tweet me or DM me, I don't know, mention me somehow. I wanna see um, you guys do this because that'd be really cool. If you have any suggestions for other videos or other nail tutorial videos that you want me to do, just leave it down in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you give me a huge thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next video.